not really seeing too much. Now this cable is in a reversal setup here, and we're up near a big figure. Now this could be something. And we're in a kind of a 60 by 60 from 04 to 76. I like to see 30 pips gap here. We've got 30. I mean, 28 is close enough. We'd be in a 60 by 60. So we got 60, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the 60-minute the boxes are spread out. And in between them lie all the other boxes. So I think an 04 entry looks pretty good on that. All right, so, um, okay, Jack, yeah, it just qualifies as 20. And, you know, not everyone requires 30. I personally like 30. I've seen other guys get in with 20 pips, but I think 30 is the better gap because these are hour boxes. They can float on you. So I think 30 is the best. Also, you want to see an hour chart that looks like we're getting some behavior. Uh, and what do I mean by behavior? I'll tell you. Let's look at a 60-minute chart. Ah, this is it. Okay, this is a nice setup. I'm going to make this 60-minute chart bigger so you can see it. Scroll to the right a little bit. You see what we got here? The L1 and L2. Or so here's the L1, the green one, L2. They're acting as resistance, the L2, and support, the L1. So you can see this 60 by 60 has been working now. This is a 60-minute uh, chart, so every candle is an hour. For 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, about 10 hours this has been working. And the gaps have been bigger. Look at this candle. Uh, the L1 was at 72. The L2 was at 18. Okay, that's only... Well, there's 70 and 15, so that's about the same. That's 45 pip gap between the boxes and working f fine. There's 74 and 21. That's 47 pip gap. So the bigger the gap, you know, the better. And here it's been working well. So this is a good looking 60 by 60 right here. You can take it long from 76 or 73. See that the L, you have the L7 down here. You got a white zone. Or you can take it short from up at big figure 04. So if it gets up there, I'd like to go ahead and, and take a shot at that. See, every time it's gotten up here, look at how often it's worked. But if you look at the five-minute chart, you might have to scroll down a little bit. Here's one. It went from 14, that's probably about where the box was at that time, down to... 76, so 40 pip drop. So here's another one. This spiked through it a little bit. Got up to f this one spiked through it a lot. It got to 60, 40. Um, but if you didn't get involved with that spike there, that would have been a tricky one. That spike would have, if you got in up here, that spike probably would have taken down unless you took profit at the one minute box, which would have been a, uh, a 28 to. A little bit of a 30 pip move, so you could have easily made 30 pips on this before that spike happened if you got in up at the box. Um, and then here's another move here. Fifteen down to fifty-seven. Here's at fourteen again. And I mean, you would have held a hold on this a bit longer, but it did make it to the L7. Every, almost every time, by the way, look where it went to. Every time it hit the box, it went to the L7. Every time. There. And even this one right here. You still do, Jack. <laughs> nice. So this one, went, so the L7 is a great target on this one here. It's also not a bad bounce point to the upside, which is 5 minute L7. Guess where that is? That's where the 60 by 60 ends. You see it right here. So this is telling you, the grids are telling you right where the entry is and right where the exit is. And it's done it every time. In fact, it's done it one. We won't count that one. We'll say that's a, that's a stop out. But 
uh, like I said, it still gave you 30 pips of a one minute box there. But one, two, three times it's done this from the upper box to the lower box all the way. So that's a 60 by 60. And that's a beautiful 60 by 60 chart. Uh, I would be, I would rather take it from the downside up. For, f I mean, maybe there's, there's two ways to look at this. One, it's in a downtrend, so you'd want to take it from upside to the downside. But the other side is the white zone looks like it's going to collapse soon. The L1's curling up. It looks like this thing could be beginning to turn over. So we'll see. But either way, that's the thing about a 60 by 60 is, you know, it, it ranges for a while before it decides what it wants to do, and you're playing that range. Okay, enough about that until we get an entry. I want to talk about the lot sizes. I'm going to have to move my mic because i got to take a sip of coffee. Hang on one second. <laughs> 